Hello and welcome to Technical Drawing Solution by DN Kamau. Today I want us to go through a drawing of any polygon using universal half circle method. Given one side AB as 20 millimeters. So, um, uh, let's take, for example, a uh, hexagon. A hexagon. Use the universal half circle method to construct a hexagon given one side as 20 millimeters. So that's the question that we are going to answer. And the first thing to do is uh, to draw a line, construction line, uh, 20 millimeters. Uh, second, place your uh, pair of compass uh, onto one side of your 20 millimeter uh, line and stretch it to the other end and draw a semicircle. Mm. Then uh, join uh, center to zero. And uh, since we are doing uh, a six sided figure, and we know that uh, the angle of this straight line is uh, 180, we want to divide it into six equal parts. We want to divide this arc into six equal parts and therefore we shall have 180 divided by six which gives us 30 millimeters so with your protractor you can place your protractor at the center there and measure 30 degrees another 30 another 30 like that until you reach 180 degrees so, for example, if we, ha we were to do a, a seven-sided figure, then we would uh, divide 180 by 7. If it is a five-sided figure, then it is 180 divided by 5. So, any number of sides that you are dealing with, you divide it by 180. And whatever uh, you get, you then now uh, divide this arc into uh, those divisions. So next is uh, join uh, a line from the center to 2. Join a line from the center to 2. Uh, bisect line 2A. Bisect line 2A to get this line. And also bisect line A6. To get this line at their intersection point that is going to form your your center your center for drawing a circle that passes through 2 a and 6 so uh, at that center point uh, 4 stretch your pair of compass to 2 and you'll be able to describe that circle. Then pick either 2A or A6, which are supposed to be equal. Pick one of them and strike all around the circle. You will get these points. And then join those points with a finish line and that gives us um, the answer to the question. And as usual, the answer to the question has to be bold, it has to be dark, it has to be outstanding. And that's the end of the presentation. I hope you liked it. And let's meet in the next presentation.